morning. What are we doing today? Today we are going on a private boat trip here in Panglao Bohol. Uh, we're up super early today because we're getting picked up at 6.30 a.m. <laughs> it's is, too early. Is it raining? No, it's not actually. It's not raining? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right, I think we need to get ready to be picked up. Yeah, Let's get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> Early today? Yes. Super early. It doesn't feel like it though because it's bright outside. Mm. This is what happens early in the morning. We just don't see it. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yes, Woo. let's go. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Edgar again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Imagine trying to sleep here. That's gonna be why they're all up. <laughs> it says no shouting. I don't think that's uh, the biggest problem you need to worry about. <laughs> Should I be rolling my trousers up here? Yeah, probably. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, how do I do this? Okay. <laughs> you look good. The sun is just coming out now. Uh, looks like a decent day, actually. So this boat tour is about a three or four hour boat tour where we go to two islands. Yeah, one's called Virgin Island, one's called Bali Kasak Island. Oh yeah. Second one is just a sandbar in the middle of the ocean here that we're gonna go and see. And then the other one, Bali Kasak Island, is a really circular island. It's a really popular diving and snorkeling spot. On the way here now, we should be able to see some dolphins along the way, so that's really exciting. The last time we went snorkeling was a disaster in um, Koh Samui in Thailand where we went to one of the most popular snorkeling spots and there was absolutely no fish at all. So hopefully we'll see something more today. These flip-flops are probably gonna break, you know. I might take them off, I don't know. I didn't think about the fact that if it's low tide we'll have to like walk out in the ocean to yeah. <laughs> To our boat. This is kind of a fun way to start the morning. We're not normally up this early, and it's like what, like six thirty, six thirty, six forty-five, and we're like wading our way to a boat in the ocean in the Philippines. Yeah. It's amazing. This is our first boat trip in the Philippines. This is our first boat trip in a long time. Yeah, since Thailand. Yeah. Uh, pretty exciting. <laughs> Let's try and get there first. Yeah. Trousers were a bad idea. <laughs> I made it dirty. <laughs> nice, we have this whole boat to ourselves. Do we actually? Well, apart from the drivers, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine? Now we have to ride this boat. <laughs> wow. What's the name of the boat? Sandalar. Sandalar. What does that mean? Sandals. And no, it means sandalars, yes. Mm. Yeah. Keep that safe. Where's the backpack? On my back. Oh, we should put. Okay. What? <laughs> you have covered everything in wet sand with your flip flops flipping up at the back. Show. <laughs> oh. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> okay, that's fine. It'll it'll dry, won't it? Yeah, it's the same on the back. Of your top. What did you do to my backpack? Our backpack now. Yeah, <laughs> this boat is so much bigger than I expected it to be. Yeah. I expected like um, one of those little things. This is just the two of us. Yeah. So this boat was way cheaper if you had more people, but we're only two, so we just booked it for the two of us. came across loads of uh, dolphins. There's also loads of other boats here as well. I don't know where they've gone now though. I could just see the fins sticking out. You didn't see them, did you? No, but because we're going in the water, I didn't wear my glasses today. I didn't want them to like fly off on the boat or get lost or go under water or something. So I'm like this, scanning. Wait, where? There! Oh! 
I don't ever think I've seen, I think I've seen a dolphin once or twice next to a boat. But I can hear them all going, ooh! Oh, that's that guy. Shot I know, no, that's what I mean. Oh. I can hear them saying that. And I was like, they must be over there. You didn't even need glasses for that. No, I was like this though. <laughs> oh, that's so nice to see. I think we were going to be able to see like proper turquoise waters today. I'm not going to be able to hear you. Yeah, it's quite loud. I hope you can't hear me. Yeah, but it's like constantly shallow, you know? Wow. It's just so clear. Right. Oh, yeah. Right blue starfish. Like crazy blue. Yeah, there, there. Whoa. That's so crazy. I didn't think they... That's like such a cookie color. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that boat is loud. Now we've made it to the first island, Bali Kasak Island. There's a lot of boats here. <laughs> so nice to have a private boat though. Yeah. Oh, but what a nice start to the day to see the dolphins. Yeah. Did you see me get tear eyed? No. It was like super emotional. I don't know why. They're just so pure and beautiful. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> maybe I'm tired. started raining now as we were finishing off the snorkeling. Mm -hmm. We started off, we got here and we had to pay the environmental fee which is to you know keep the place clean and then we paid for a snorkeling fee but I think that included like a guy taking us out. So he took us to two sites and the first one was just like um, turtle. Sea, sea turtle. Yeah. There's loads of people there though just like surrounding this poor turtle. Yeah, I don't know if we knew exactly what the snorkeling would entail. I didn't know, necessarily know that it was that. It was kind of cool to see the turtle but we didn't want to hang around for too long yeah but then after he took us to see the turtle we went a little bit further out and it was like it was like a cliff it was like a coral underwater. reef and then it was just like yeah exactly it was like a cliff it was just like boom darkness it was it's kind of scary it was actually really scary. kind of cool but as soon as we got there someone was like free diving pretty much all the way down to the bottom honestly <laughs> i saw this like kind of shadow and i was like that's a human down there yeah. i don't know what i he tried was doing that i low. tried to do something similar towards the end but i couldn't get like half as deep because my face yeah. Like everything started going like you know when your eyes and your ears start to pop. Yeah. Like I wasn't even halfway down. On oh, my he was probably already. trained. Surely he was trained. Yeah. Now we've dropped off our snorkels and goggles. Our life vests are at back at the boat. This is way too hot to sip it now. So. Yeah. Well, we got a coffee anyway. <laughs> we've got some coffee. But it's still really early in the morning. We got a new camera the other day because we were planning on doing some stuff in the water like this. And yesterday we realized we didn't have a um, floaty, floaty thing. Yeah. <laughs> so at about 8 p.m. yesterday, we went on a massive mission around Tanglao, which is not a very big place. Well, it's a big island, but the touristy place is only literally in like one corner. Not that many think. shops, yeah. So yeah, we, we went around for ages to about five shops. And in the end, we found one guy selling like exactly what we needed phone cases and floaties and this was only 150 pesos yeah wow. <laughs> what a lifesaver we also bought this towel because turns out the hotel doesn't allow towels to be taken off the grounds and we don't have towels and we don't we obviously don't travel around with our massive backpacks with towels inside so Ooh. we had to buy this towel but it's quite cute cheers sure, it's hot though but yeah it is very hot mm. This is our first coffee of the morning, even though we've been up for hours already. I don't even know what time it is, actually. No, maybe eight. It's so nice. You know, I'm surprised we actually got to see so much fish and <laughs> turtles, really. Yeah. Because it's not that clear of a day, but the water, the water was so is clear. Crystal clear. Actually, so beautiful. Right, next stop. Virgin Island. So this sandbar is called Virgin Island. It does have an actual name. I keep Pangtut it. Island, I think it is. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> a 
sandbar is basically just a piece of land in the middle of the ocean because there's lots of sand. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I would assume that when it's high tide, it's not here. Or is it always here? That's a good question. It's super fun anyway. There's like a tiny little kiosk which almost looks like a bus stop, but that floats. <laughs> so if it, this does submerge, that would still be bobbling about. Yeah. There's a couple of trees or uh, mangroves. mangroves sticking out. It's a few tourists here, obviously, because it's a very much a tourist spot. Yeah, so this, cool. the tour we're on is an island hopping tour, and this is yeah. one of the This stops. is one of them. <laughs> wow. It's really cool to think that we're just in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, then, this is very much like kind of Jack Sparrow on a deserted island kind of island. Yeah. Except that there's no palm trees on it. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Deep. That's why I made a little yelp. I didn't expect that to be as deep as it is. So it's about 11 o'clock in the morning now, and we're gonna you go say ahead. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh. No, 11 o'clock in the morning. And Tuk Tuk Driver should be here to pick us up now. We're gonna show you somewhere. We had food the other day and it was fantastic. It's um, not Filipino food. No. But it's still fantastic. Like, if you're ever in Anglao or Bohol, you should come to this restaurant. Now, we haven't had breakfast yet. It's still early. Normally we would have eaten something at this point, but there wasn't really any food and we've had a coffee now on one of the islands, so perfect time. Ooh. Ooh, you good? Yeah. To head back in and have something to eat. Yeah. Yeah. These flip-flops that I've got, these are also new that I bought in the Philippines. So we bought these flip-flops, that floaty, a towel. And I feel like the uh, merchants, yeah. they don't like inflate the prices, I feel like. Like these flip-flops, <laughs> obviously not genuine, were like three pounds for just things you wear every now and then when it's wet. Because they were I feel perfect. like if you went to beachside, I don't know, Spain, for example, and you wanted to buy some flip-flops on the beach, Surely they would not be three pounds. No. Edgar is here to pick us up, I think. Ah, good old Edgar, yes. You know, maybe we'll um, ask Edgar if he can take us to like the main island, the Bohol, tomorrow. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. We should ask the hotel if we can... Book him for the week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Totally would if we needed it. But maybe we should get a bike once we get to main Bohol. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Hello. <Hi. laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy? Yeah, yeah, it was so much fun. <laughs> you know the restaurant, Toto e Pepino? Toto Pepino, yeah. Can, Can we, we stop, stop there? there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Ah. Calamansi juice is so good, especially with extra sugar. <laughs> Sour, sweet. I mean, enjoy. Thank you. So, as you will have seen, we have come to a sort of Italian pizza restaurant called Toto e Peponi. Pepino, sorry. Toto e Pepino. I was th thinking of pepperoni. <laughs> Anyway, we came here on our first night and pizza was just fantastic, you know, like proper Italia and the base is super crispy, the crust is just enough and you can eat it. It's, we just had to come back and if you are in Anglao, 
seriously you have to visit. It's about a five minute walk from our hotel as well, yeah. right in the heart of Alona Beach. I'm just sat here with my one slice of pizza waiting. <laughs> Can I eat it? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna devour this pizza now, go back home, have about five different naps, and then we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye. <laughs>